Pretty All right, we're back at the, at the third segment of Why Be Something You Are Not. Tonight's guest, Negative Approach from Detroit. <laughs> All right, we're here with Negative Approach from Detroit. Where first, we're going to let everyone introduce themselves. What's your name? It's Jim. <laughs> How old are you, Jim? Uh, 17. OP, 16. Eldo Nova, 25. <laughs> Bob Johnson, 19. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are probably one of the, the most popular group in Detroit right now in the scene. Have you, uh, what, what, do you, what, do you like, what do you like about the Detroit scene right now? It's going. It's got a bunch of new bands. The new bands. Great. It's like the greatest thing. Yeah. The new bands. They're all great serious. And they're all different sounding from each other. Should we name names? Name names. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You people can clap after I name. Okay. Fate Unknown. Yeah. Displaced. Yeah. Nats at Rage. Yeah. GCMS. GCMS. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of new bands. Four. <laughs> Radical Lab. Yeah. 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 Told you. Yeah. The list goes on. <laughs> so, um, what got you interested in this music? It was that episode of Chips? <laughs> <You know? laughs> I was like, hey. <laughs> think about it. Seriously. <laughs> that Is that it, really? The Mohawk Man? With him in Discharge. Discharge. <laughs> So, uh, what what got you interested in writing uh, the, the song titles that you do? Some of the, where did you get those ideas from? People I hate. So I, write, songs about. I write songs about things I hate, and that's a lot of people in Detroit. So, it's easy to write songs. Who writes most of the music? Well, Opie's starting to write a lot of songs. I write the lyrics and uh, music. Opie writes a lot of music now. Rob writes some songs. No, seriously. <laughs> Seriously, Grand does everything. Where do you get your influence from? Let's clear up. Let's. All right, for our viewers at home, let's clear up something. What do you got in there? I think I got it in my back pocket. All right, let's get a close up. Foreskins. Foreskins with Hodges rule. Okay. Okay. All right. No, but when when what? Was there a certain band that got you interested in this? Necros. Alice Cooper. Yeah. Like Necros, the first, like Minor Threat, Necros. Necros, like, at the corner influenced us to start a band. They were like the first, you know, band that yeah. we started seeing, you know, Black Flag, Minor Threat, that's the way. Four Skins with Hodges. Youth Patrol. Youth Patrol. <laughs> An original. Spike. Dead Ravens. Spike. Yeah. Spike. Yeah, Just like, uh. <laughs> It's pretty much like the Discord bands influenced us. Yeah, a lot of the DC scene, I, you know, it's great. Oh, where's your favorite place uh, to play in Detroit? Where do you like playing the most? Freezer, the freezer when it was around, but, yeah. you know, they closed that down after yeah. Minor Threat show. Do the pizza place. Yeah. <laughs> I like the clubhouse. It's yeah. a new place. Have you guys, guys gone out on a tour? I heard you just got back from a tour. How did that go? Oh, yeah, we did a, we did a tour with... Um, Necros and Meat Men went really good, I thought. Yeah, it was um, really fun. How many, how many cities do you go to? Well, first show was New York, and then we played... Um, Two D.C. shows. We played D.C., Maryland. You know, it's D.C. area. Uh, played Boston. Yeah, Kids are wild out there. And then we came back and played New York. Sticks of dynamite. It was pretty good. <laughs> do, were you well-received out there? Do a lot of people know your songs? Well, they, we got one song in a process elimination, so everyone went one, two, one, two, three, four. But it's like, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I some some of the people, you know, we went, we sent out tapes, so a couple of them knew the songs. It's like, you know, wait till the re wait till the record comes out, you know. So tell us something about the record. It's it's gonna come out eventually. <laughs> believe me, yeah. believe me. Where can people get it? Two weeks. Tell them about it. All right, two. Yeah. Okay, two two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> no, all right, no. Uh, We'll be selling it at shows. I, I, I want all those kids out there that are like, they think they're into it, pick up flyers and come to shows. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you should be supporting your local bands. But like uh, record stores, you know, cool shows, had on flyers, sell records at, you know, shows. And probably like uh, off the record, Dearborn Music, school kids in Ann Arbor. 
you know. Pretty much, just if you want it, if you want to get, pick up the record, just come to a show. Okay. Well, that about wraps it up for right now. After this commercial, we'll have more negative approach. Yeah! Yeah! All right, here we go. Negative approach from Detroit. Okay, this one starts out with Rob.
interesting. Who's that guy that does Sex Machine? Who does that song? Okay. This is for James Brown, TV lad. Don't make me do what I want to do. Ah! Sex Machine. <laughs> sing along if they want to. So if your mom's going to get upset about the profanity, go let her make you a sandwich. Go in your room and paint the wall. Yeah, I'm fucking wet! 
so far the problem, Baldy. Okay. Somehow, this got to be the name of the show, minus one word. Hit it.
the third episode of Why Be Something You're Not. Let's hear it now for Negative Approach. Okay, real quick. This one's called DABF. Thanks a lot, TV's fun. Midwest rule! Midwest rule!